Okay, in this video we talk about first what a positional base in the system is, and then we look at converting from a positional base in system to decimal, uh, to from positional base in over to a decimal system. So first, in a positional base in system, in any positional system to some base, we talk about our place values. Just like in our system, the first place value is a 1, and then you would have n, n squared, n cubed, n to the fourth, n to the fifth, and so on as far down the line as you need it to go. Now, <clears throat> to talk about the problems we're going to look at, I want to introduce a notation. When we see a number like A, B, C, or A, B, and C, or just some symbols representing uh, various values, vertical and numerical values smaller than n, with a little n subscript outside, like we have right here, this is talking about this number being in base n. For instance, we could say we have the number 2, 3 in base 5. Or we could say we have the number 479 in base 12. And we use little parentheses around the number in the subscript of the parentheses to indicate the base that we're dealing with. Okay, so with that out of the way, now we'd like to look at converting from decimal, or from not dec decimal, from a base end system over to decimal. So we begin with this example here. When I convert it to a decimal, the number is 243 in base 5. And to convert this over to decimal, what you want to recognize is what this is saying in terms of its place value uh, of 5. It's positional base 5, so first place is the 1, so that's really saying we have 3 1's. The next place is the base, so 5, so we have 4 groups of size 5. And finally, the next place is the base squared. We have two of those. So totaling that up, we have three ones, four fives, and two twenty-fives. We can just multiply that out and add it up. And when we do, we find out that this is the decimal 73. It corresponds to the number 243 in base 5. Now before we go uh, any further here, a couple of little notes about this uh, system. You're always only going to, or you're never going to use symbols bigger than the base. So if our base is 5 in the example over here, the symbol 5 makes no sense. Because this, to write 5 in base 5, you would write 1, 0 using the positional system. That would be 0, 1's, and 1 to 5. That's equal to the number 5. Same thing with 6. We wouldn't have a symbol for 6. That would be 1, 1. Now moving on to our next example. Take the base 8 number, 2174, and convert that over to decimal. So again, the easiest way to do this is to again look at your place values. You have 1, the base, the base squared, and in this case the base raised to the third power. And we have 4 1's, 7 8's, one group of 64 and two groups of 512. And then we just want to multiply and add those things up. So we're at our product, add them all up, and we get 1148. Now before we move to our next example, um, a quick little note here. If my base is bigger than 10, okay, what you have to understand is, for example, 
if I'm in base 12, 1, 0 is not 10. That's a 1 in the 12th place, a 0 in the 1's place, that's a 12. So we have no way to write 11 or 10 in base 12 given the symbols we already have. Okay. What happens in a base n system is you need to have symbols for all the numbers from 1 to n minus 1. 1 to n minus 1. So what we're going to do when we have bases bigger than 10 is we're going to introduce some new symbols to represent those numbers. And the symbols we pick are just the letters from A through uh, as far as you go in the problems that we'll be doing just A through J. And so here they are. For bases bigger than 10 we're going to use those letters A through J, capital A through J to represent the numbers 10 through 19 when they're needed. And what I mean by when they're needed, in the case of a base 12 system, you only need symbols for 10 and 11. So C would not be defined in a base 12 system. Because to write 12, you'd write 1, 0. Same thing with 13, 14, 15, and so on. All those can be written in a base 12 system already. So this is going to come up in examples that we're going to do. Uh, now we stop at 19 because the biggest base that we're going to be looking at is base 20. Uh, we won't go any further than base 20. You could, of course, introduce symbols for bigger for bases bigger than 20, but we're stopping at 20. Okay, so we move on now. Let's look at an example of using this. For instance, consider the number 4BF9 in base 20 base 20. Your place values in base 20 are again 1 for the first place, then the base, then the base squared which would be 400, then the base raised to the third power in the case of 20 that would be 8,000. We have 4 in the 8,000 place, we have a B but B represents 11 F represents 15. Now, I don't memorize those. I just count up when I need to to the letter so I can get the right value. Okay. And now it's just a matter of adding all this up. So we write them all out. We add them all up and we get 36,709. Okay. And so that's how we convert from one base, a positional base end system, over to uh, base 10 or decimal.